complex analysis. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm taking a graduate level analysis. Yeah. So, so you know Cauchy's theorem already? That's very remarkable. Yeah. Um, I think it is very crazy to do some things in uh, complex analysis. Like, for example, you know, if a function can be differentiable once and is infinitely differentiable. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, analyticity is, is a very strong property. Yeah. And analyticity and uh, holomorphism. Oh, holomorphicity. Holomorphic, yeah. Yeah. That, that a function is only a function of one variable, yeah. com one complex variable, okay. instead of a function of both the real and imaginary part. Yeah, I and that has I, many uh, constraints. I might be wrong, but complex, no, sorry, holomorphicness means that it is complex differentiable. And the other one, uh, analyticity, means that it can be represented by a power series. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, no, I think the other way around. Oh. So I was very interested in the proof that those two are the same, but we haven't got to it yet. So. Uh, it's all a matter of definition. Uh, usually uh, they are not the same. Uh, holomorphic is maybe analytic uh, is when it's a function of z only, not a function of z and z bar. And holomorphic, maybe you call it when it, it is always it is finite. You can expand it in a power series. Oh, z bar is the conjugate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, because and, in my class they use the uh, z star. Oh yeah, and we also do that. We use both a z bar and z star.